Hi, Doug Miller with South Kitsap Properties, and I just want to say thank you to everyone that's taken the time to not only view, but share the videos that I've been posting here on my Facebook page regarding the upcoming school bond and school levy that are coming on our November ballots. Now there's been a lot of misinformation out there, which is why I've been doing these fact versus fiction videos. And today I want to tackle a topic that I've seen out there, you know, quite honestly, more times than I care to count. And that's the idea behind what's being called the, quote, McCormick Academy. Now, what they're implying by McCormick Academy is that this second high school is being built just for students that live in McCormick Woods. And let me tell you, that could not be further from the truth. There are roughly 9,800 students in our South Kitsap School District. Do you know how many students are coming out of McCormick Woods currently? Now, for the sake of argument, let's call McCormick Woods not only McCormick Woods, but the ridge at McCormick Woods, as well as McCormick Meadows. Out of 9,800 students, 672 of them are coming from McCormick Woods. That's less than 7% of our entire student population in South Kitsap that are coming from McCormick Woods. So the idea that this high school is being built just for McCormick Woods students, honestly, it's ludicrous and it's completely false. Okay, if you average out McCormick Woods students between the four schools that they occupy currently, that's less than 200 students per school. So out of a 1500 occupancy high school, you're less than 200 students from McCormick Woods and over 1,300 students from Burley Glenwood, from Sunny Slope, from Sydney Glen before they go to Cedar Heights. You know, they're still working obviously on the boundaries, but again, the idea that this high school is being built for McCormick Woods residents when they account for less than 7% of students in South Kitsap, it's just way off base. So now some people have turned around and said, well, why are you building a high school out that way then? Why not build it somewhere else? And it comes down to two really simple reasons. The first and easiest reason is the school district already owns the land. They've owned the land for a long time, okay? So it doesn't make sense for them, first of all, to not only sell it, but then turn around and have to buy more land. Because first of all, land is at a premium, especially for home builders, and then they'd have to turn around and, and increase taxes to pay for the additional land. Well, that doesn't make any sense, not when you already have land that's there and developable and already owned by the school district. That's the first reason. The second reason comes down to urban growth areas. It's where construction's happening throughout South Kitsap. And right now, that's where new construction is happening. So you're targeting that new construction in those urban growth areas when you're looking at building a second high school. Now, for those students that are gonna still be at the current high school, there's still a lot of great things coming out of that too. They're slated to have improvements and enhancements done at the current high school as well. And all of this is done at no tax increase to you as a homeowner. Okay, this is a tax neutral bond and tax neutral levy. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so again, if you have any questions about the South Kitsap school bond and levy, please visit the South Kitsap School District website. I've linked it again below. Be sure to continue to spread the word so we can separate fact versus fiction because unfortunately there's a lot of fiction out there and we got to spread the word on why this bond and this levy are fantastic things for our students and our community. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day and uh, thanks again.